Now when we're skiing, one of the biggest and most common mistakes is a lot of people are throwing their body around to try and turn their feet underneath them. Now when we're skiing, all our rotation and all our turning should be coming from our hips downwards. Now what most people don't realise is, if we have a stronger mobility and stronger range through our lower body from our hips, knees and our ankles, this is going to allow us to rotate our feet and use our lower body to make those turns like we're supposed to. If we don't, then what we tend to happen is, because we can't rotate our feet underneath us and from our hips downwards, we tend to start to get the upper body involved. Basically, the lower body stops turning. So if I start to turn my lower body that way, my lower body stops turning and then my upper body gets involved and I start to rotate. So when I'm skiing and I heavily rotate on that upper body to turn the skis, you're gonna see upper body rotates and so does the hips. So the shoulders and the hips rotate at the same time. Now what we want to see is if I'm turning that way, my feet are going to turn that way, but my body and my shoulders stay forward, hips stay relatively in line. At a certain point, my hips are going to start to rotate with the upper body because of a lack of mobility. Now, same the opposite way, if I was to turn my feet this way, as soon as my feet get to a certain point, my body is then going to start to move and follow. Now we'll see this a lot and we'll see that people are turning their skis but in turn, they're really rotating their body to trying the skis and it turns into a real effort. Now, if we can loosen up the hips and if we can improve our mobility around our hips and rotate our feet at a greater range underneath our hips downwards, then this is going to in turn improve our ability to turn our skis and rotate our skis from our lower body and not use our upper body. So in the off-season, what does that mean we need to do? Well, it means we need to work on hip mobility, on our hip strength, our glute strength, exercises that are going to challenge these joints and muscles. And what we're going to see is we're going to increase that mobility around that joint, the strength around that joint, and lessen the need for that upper body to get involved when we're turning our skis. If we can turn our feet and that range at the hip is increased, my feet can turn at a greater distance and angle than if my ability mobility is less. If my mo mobility is less, if I turn my feet to there, my hips are going to want to start to turn earlier. So increase that mobility, you're going to increase that range, our feet can turn underneath us and lessen the need for our shoulders and our upper body to get involved.